What is up everybody and welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we are starting a really important unit of work here. We're looking at an introduction to fraction. Specifically looking at tenths. So let's jump into it. Okay, well what do we need to remember today? We need to remember that fractions are just part of a whole. So what does that mean? Well, we can look at it like this with our place value chart. Hopefully we've seen a place value chart like this before with ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands, etc. But where is the place for our fractions? Well, our place for our fractions actually comes after the ones. Because remember, a fraction is smaller than one. It's a part of one. So we would end up having to put this extra section that we will then call tenths. And don't forget, we would need our decimal place between them. This decimal point shows that we're now less than one and we're into fractions. And the reason it's tenths is because if we think about it, everything going positive across our place value is multiplied by 10. So one to 10, 10 to 100, and 100 to 1,000. They're all multiplied by 10. So everything coming down the place value chart is divided by 10. So 1,000 down to 100 is divided by 10. 100 down to 10 is divided by 10. 10 down to 1 is divided by 10. And therefore, 1 divided by 10 equals tenths. So our new column is the tenths column. Now let's have a look at it another way. This is my one. I have one bar of chocolate. So at the minute, I have a whole one. However, we can see that it's been cut into 10 even pieces. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So I have 10 equal pieces. So therefore, one of these pieces is worth one tenth. Or in other words, we can write it into our fractions. We split our whole into 10. So the number on the bottom would be a 10. And I have only one of them, so I have one tenth. Now at this point, it's quite important to learn what we call these different numbers. The number on the top is the numerator. And the number on the bottom, we call the denominator. And their jobs are pretty important. The number on the bottom shows how many we've split our whole bar into. In this case, we split it into 10. And the numerator, the number at the top, shows how many we're focusing on, how many we're looking at. And in this case, it'd be one. So what would I have if I actually shaded another couple of these sections up? Well, I had one tenth, this one here, then I had another tenth, and then I had another tenth. So all together, I have what? Well, I can see I have one, two, three, and we still have 10 sections to our chocolate bar, so my denominator is still 10. So here I have three tenths. So if we were to look at the individual parts, here we can see I have one tenth of my original chocolate bar. Now I have two tenths, then three tenths, then four tenths, then five tenths. We can see we're counting up in tenths. Six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, and then finally, 10 tenths, or in other words, one. Because 10 tenths makes back up our original one chocolate bar. So 10 tenths is equivalent or the same as saying one. So looking back at our place value chart, what we have to understand for this lesson is that this extra column now, our tenths column, 
is a fraction. It's part of one. So if I had one whole, but I split it into ten pieces, each piece would be worth one tenth. Or in other words, a one in my column. Awesome, so that was a quick introduction to fractions. In our next lesson, we're going to look at what equivalent fractions are. So make sure you stick around for that. But today we want to remember that a fraction is an equal, it's a very important word in fractions, part of a whole. We can show fractions of tenths in the place value chart. The number at the top of a fraction, so this number here, would be our numerator. And the number at the bottom of the fraction, this number here, would be our denominator. Remember that denominator shows us how many we've split our whole into, and the numerator is how many we're counting. And there you go, that's a quick introduction to fractions. Hopefully this has been useful for you. Stick around for the next lesson to look into equivalent fractions. But for now, guys, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in another video. Peace out.